Hey loves, welcome to another exciting cooking series. Today we are cooking palm oil stew, white rice and fried plantain. You are welcome to this channel. To my new subscribers, thanks for stopping by. My name is Rita and I cook, vlog and do lifestyle on this channel. You are highly welcome to the Rita's world. I steamed the turkey, chicken, and fresh fish. Added onions, seasoning cubes, curry powder, all the seasonings for making stew, cooked and fried. I had to cut off the head of the fish because I do not want any bone at all in the stew. So I put this green leaf vegetable that I wanted to add to the red oil stew. I blanched it, rinsed off with cold water, sliced and I kept it aside. The palm oil that I used, that I bleached, almost put me into trouble. I went to the supermarket where I normally get the, my preferred brand of palm oil but I couldn't get the one that I wanted. It wasn't even bleached at all. I couldn't find any bleached palm oil off the counter so I decided to bleach palm oil on my own and when I did, the smoke of this particular palm oil was terrible. I had to open the door to let out the smoke. My clothes outside, everywhere was filled with smoke. Even my neighbor's dogs were barking to that extent. It was just by grace that I was able to contain the situation. I had to turn off the heat immediately and allowed it to cool down for seven minutes, after which I added in the onions. I um, blended fresh tomatoes, fresh pepper, lots of onions and crayfish. I added it in to the fried onions. I didn't want my onions to be too translucent. If you could look closely, the palm oil didn't achieve that golden brown color that you know your bleached palm oil has. I just couldn't continue with the smoke anymore. But it still gave the stew a very nice fragrance and flavor. It was very tasty at the end of it all. I fried the tomatoes for about 12 minutes. I was checking in so the pot won't get burnt, you know. I was going back and forth. I had to bring the kitchen entirely to the sitting room, so I was just timing it like two minutes interval. I'll turn, come into the kitchen, stir until it was properly done. If you want to bleach palm oil your own way, use an old pot because because of the, the way it bleaches and the smoke and everything might end up damaging your precious pot so just use an old pot to bleach your palm oil and do that on a very low heat then after frying for 12 minutes i added in the fried proteins that's the turkey chicken and fish gave it a good stir added in the stock cube and fry it again for another five minutes. It's very important for your stew to be properly fried so it will have a good taste. And you also allow the proteins that you added to be fried properly also in the tomato mix to achieve that very tasty stew, even the aroma alone. People will be craving to eat your food. I understand that it's not every time you're making stew that you actually fry. Most times I don't fry my stew. I cook it the other way around whereby you just boil your tomatoes, your proteins and you heat up your oil and pour it in directly. But in all, just to ensure it's properly done so it will be tasty at the end of the cooking. So I added in the stock. I did it twice because I didn't want the stew to be too watery, thereby making me spend so much time in the kitchen. So I fried for another four minutes, gave it a good mix and added in the green leaf vegetable. Once your stew is about 99.9% .9 ready, that's when you add your vegetables. I gave it a good mix and turned off the heat.
thanks for watching till this point and to my returning subscribers i want to say a very big thank you for watching all my videos for the show of love who i be or more thanks so much i'm so grateful for all your show of love and i'll see you in my next video take care of yourself bye